Here we are at the end of round 15. I've done my last chain three. I'm just going to connect into the third chain of the beginning chain here to with a slip stitch. Counting from the bottom, one, two, three, into this chain here with a slip stitch to connect, and that connects there. So this is my piece at the end of this round. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now for the next round, round 16. For round 16, it's again very similar to the previous round. We're doing this part in a very similar way. We're just reducing one stitch in the middle here, and this whole part will be different. Okay? So let's get started for round 16. For round 16, we're going to start off with a chain 3, and this counts as our first double crochet. 1, 2, 3. And we're going to double crochet into the same stitch, so the same stitch right here on top of this uh, third chain of the previous round. Double crochet into there, like that. Now you're going to chain three and do a front post double crochet twice around the next front post double crochet. Chain three. Here you have one, two, three, four, five uh, double crochets here. You're going to do a front post double crochet or twice around the first post. So here's the first double crochet, front post double crochet. Around the post, you're going to do uh, two front post double crochets. So that's one. Around the same post again. Two. Then into the middle three posts, one, two, three, you're going to do one front post double crochet around each of those. One. Two. And three. And then on the final post here, you're going to do two front post double crochets around this post. One. Two, like that. Now you're going to chain three and double crochet twice in the next double crochet. Chain three. Double crochet twice in the next from, uh, double crochet. So on top of this double crochet, like normal, do two double crochet into there, so one and two, like that. So we created that so far. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to do the same thing that we did in the previous round for this, minus one stitch in the middle here. Okay, so the first two stitches here, we're going to do our decrease, from post double crochet decrease around the first two stitches here. And then the second stitch here from the previous round, we're going to do another front post double crochet, just like previous round. And then here we're going to do a, into your next chain one space, you're going to do single crochet. Then you're going to do chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, and then your last chain one space, single crochet, like that. Then you're here at your posts again, you're going to start off into the first post of the previous round. Around there, you're going to do your first front post double crochet, followed by a decrease around that same post, and the next stitch, do your decrease. Like that. Okay? Now you're going to chain three and repeat. So you're going to start off with two double crochet around this first double crochet here. One and two, chain three, one, two, three, and repeat what we did here, here, and then move on to here, and then move on to here. So that's going to be the pattern all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this round. Here I am at the end of this round. I've done my last chain three. To connect, I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the third chain of chain three. One, two, three with a slip stitch to connect, like that, and this is what my piece looks like at the end of this round. Now let's move on to the next round, round 17. Here we are for round 17. For round 17, again, it's going to be similar to the previous round. This part will be very similar, minus one stitch here, like normal, and then this part will be different. So let's begin. To begin round 17, we're going to start off with a chain 3, and this counts as our first double crochet. 
Now you're going to double crochet into the same stitch. So the same third chain of chain three previous round, double crochet into there. Like that. And now you're going to double crochet twice into the next double crochet. So here's our next double crochet. Double crochet twice into there. One and two, so you have four double crochet there. Now you're going to chain three and front post double crochet twice around the next front post double crochet. One, two, three, around the next front post double crochet, so the first one here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets here around the first front post double crochet around the post. Do two front post double crochet around that one. Two, like that. Now you're going to double crochet, front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. So around the second one here, you're going to do a front post double crochet. Then you're going to do two front post double crochet decrease around the next two front post double crochet. So around the next two front post double crochet here and here, you're going to do a decrease. So this one. And the next one. Three loops on hook and over pull through all three loops. Chain three. After you chain three, you're going to do a front post double crochet decrease around the same post of the previous round and the next post. So here's that same post and the next post. Okay, so around the same post, start your decrease. Around the next post, complete your decrease. Like that, you're going to have two posts left remaining, one, two. Around the next one, you're going to do a front post double crochet. And the last one, you're going to do two front post double crochets. One. And two, and your piece is going to look like that. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And you have two double crochet here. Around the first one, you're going to do two double crochet into there. One and two, and then the next one you're going to do two double crochet. One and two. Then you're going to chain three, and we've created this. Now we're here, we're going to do the same thing that we did in the previous round, just minus one stitch in the middle. Okay, so. Around your first two stitches, we're going to do front post double crochet decrease. Then around the second post again, you're going to do a front post double crochet like that. Then you're in your first uh, chain one space, you're going to do a single crochet followed by chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. Then you are here at your next end where you're going to again do around your first post to front post double crochet. Then you're going to do a front post double crochet decrease around the same post and the next stitch here. Like that. At this point, chain three, one, two, three, and you are here once again. Your first two double crochet we're going to do two double crochet into each of those double crochet. One, two, into the first, and into the second, one, and two. And then you're just going to repeat all the way around. Chain three, one, two, three, and you are here. Okay, so that's what we created for this round. So you're going to do that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of round 17. I've done my last chain 3 and we're just going to connect. So to connect we're just going to slip stitch into the third chain of beginning chain 3, counting from the bottom, 1, 2, 3, into this chain here, slip stitch. And this is my piece at the end of this round. Now for round 18. Here we are for round 18. For round 18, 
we are going to do kind of similar to the last round. This part will be very similar. We're just going to be minusing one stitch again just to close off this heart. And this part will be different. So let's begin. To begin round 18, we're going to start off with a chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this chain 4 counts as our first double crochet in chain 1 space. And now we're going to double crochet into the next double crochet. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 double crochet here. Into the next one, we're going to do a double crochet. Followed by chain one and double crochet in the next double crochet two more times. So chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, and the last double crochet here, double crochet into there, like that. Now you're going to chain three and do a front post double crochet twice around the next front post double crochet. Chain three and around the next front post double crochet. So we have one, two, three, and a decrease. So around the first front post double crochet here, we're going to do two front post double crochets around there. So one and two, like that. Next, along the next front post double crochet, you're going to do a front post double crochet around here, like this. And finally, you have two stitches remaining. You're going to do a decrease around those two stitches. So around the first one and around your last stitch here which is your front post double crochet of the decrease of the previous round complete your decrease so your piece looks like that now you're going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space one two three single crochet into the next chain three space and chain three and do two front post double crochet decrease around the next two front post stitches so chain three and we're doing the reverse, what we did here, over here. So around the first two stitches, you're going to do a decrease. One, two. Complete your decrease. And that leaves us with two stitches remaining. Around the next one, you're going to do a front post double crochet. And around the last one, you're going to do two front post double crochets. So around the next one, one front post double crochet. And around the last one, two front post double crochet. One, two, like that. Next, you will chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet. One, two, three, double crochet into the next double crochet, followed by chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, and lastly, double crochet into the final double crochet here. Like that. Now you will chain three and do two front post double crochet decrease around the next two front post uh, stitches. So here, same thing as previous round, just minus one stitch. So we're going to chain three around the first uh, stitch here. Start your decrease. And around the next stitch, complete your front post double crochet decrease. Then around the same stitch of the previous round, complete another front post double crochet. Then you're here in the center, you're just going to single crochet. That's it. Then you're here at the next side, we're going to start off with a front post double crochet around the first post. And a decrease around the first post of the previous round again, and the next front post stitch. And then complete your decrease. Like that. Then you chain three, and you are here again at this part where you're going to start off with a double crochet in the first stitch, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and finally double crochet into the next stitch, like that, followed by chain three. So it's just a repeat. One, two, three. Okay. So that's going to be the pattern all the way around. So we created this. All right. So we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of round 18, and this is what my piece will look like. So now we're just going to connect, to connect, just slip stitch into the third chain and beginning chain three. 
So I've done my chain three here, and here's my beginning chain three. We're just going to connect with a slip stitch into the third chain, counting from the bottom. One, two, three. Slip stitch. And that finishes this round. This is my piece at the end of this round. Now for round 19. To begin round 19, we're going to start off with a slip stitch into the next chain one space. So here's our chain one space here. Slip stitch into there. Now we're going to do a three, a beginning three double crochet cluster. To do the beginning three double crochet cluster, you're going to start off with a chain two. And into the same chain one space, you're going to do a begin a double crochet. So yarn over and change your hook into that space, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space again, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all, all three loops, and that's what your beginning three double crochet cluster looks like. Now you do, do chain three, one, two, three, and do a three double crochet cluster in the next chain one space, and in the next chain one space, so the next two, one, two, these chain one space, we're going to do three double crochet cluster followed by chain three. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook into the first space, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And that's your three double crochet cluster. Now you're going to chain three. And repeat that one more time into your last chain one space here. Four loops on hook, and over pull through all four loops, and your last three double crochet cluster. After your last three double crochet cluster, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we are here. Here you're going to do your four front post double crochet decrease, which is like the other front post double crochet decreases of the previous round, except we're doing within four stitches. So again, we're going to work around the posts. So here you have four stitches, one, two, three, and your decrease, which is four. Around these four posts, you are going to do your decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook around the first post, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook around the second post, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook around the third post, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, insert your hook around the fourth uh, post, which is your decrease from the previous round, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through. Uh, Pull loop, yarn over, pull through two. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops, like that. Okay? Now you will chain three and do three double crochet and the next single crochet. Chain three. And do three double crochet and the next single crochet. So here is our single crochet here. Three double crochet into there. One. two, and three, like that. Chain three and do another four post double crochet decrease around the next front post stitches. So chain three, and we're going to do another decrease around these four stitches here. Same thing like we did there. So yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two around the first, yarn over, pull the loop through, yarn over, pull through two around the second, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two around the third, and yarn over, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two around the fourth, five loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops. So that's what we created. Chain three and skip the next chain three space. One, two, three. Skip the next chain three space, and we are here where we will do three double crochet cluster in each of the chain one spaces. So one, two, three. Three double crochet cluster followed by chain three. So yarn over into your first space, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Like that. Chain three, one, two, Three. Same thing into the next chain one space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, 
can I pull the two? Can I pull the three? Can I pull the pull the two? Four. Can I pull the three? Can I pull the two? Can I pull the three? Can I pull the two? Can I pull the three? Can I pull the two? Can I pull the two? Can I pull the three? Can I pull the two? Can I pull the two? Can I pull the three? Can I pull the two? Can I pull the three? All right, so that's what we've created so far. Now we are here, around this part here. After you chain three, we're gonna work this part. It's similar to the previous rounds. Uh, we're just gonna close it off at this round. So around the first two stitches here, we're gonna do the same thing as we did before, just with this front post double crochet and this front post double crochet, we're gonna do a decrease around those two to close it off. So I'll show you. So we're gonna start off yarn over, Start off with a front post double crochet decrease around this decrease and this post here. So here's your decrease, start your, start your decrease, and then finish your decrease around the second post here. Like normal, just how we did it previously, the decrease. Now we are going to do a decrease around this same post, and the next first post over here. So yarn over into your hook. Pull it through and over, pull through two, and over into your hook around the second post. Pull it through and over, pull through two, three loops on hook, and over, pull through all three loops. And you can see it closes off. Now you're just going to do your last front post double crochet decrease around the same stitch of the previous round, and then next decrease here. Just like before, same thing. Around the first post, pull it through and over, pull through two, yarn over into your hook around the next uh, stitch here. Pull it through and over, pull through two and we'll pull through all three loops. So it looks like this. Okay? Now you're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and begin your repeat. Here's your part here. You're gonna start off with three double crochet cluster, chain three, three double crochet cluster, chain three, three double crochet cluster, chain three. Then after you chain three, you are here at this heart where you will do your four front post double crochet decrease around this, chain three, three double crochet into this single crochet, chain three, four front post double crochet decrease around this, chain three, and then you're here, you're gonna do the same thing, three double crochet cluster, chain three, three double crochet cluster, chain three, in each of the chain one spaces. Then you're after you chain three, you're here, where you're gonna do your decrease in here, your decrease in here to close it off, and your decrease and here the last one. Then you're gonna chain three and repeat with your three double crochet de a cluster here. Okay, so that's just gonna be the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. And this is what it looks like. That's what we created. This here. Here I am at the end of this round. After my last chain three, we're just going to connect to our beginning double crochet, three double crochet cluster at the top here, slip stitch. And that connects, and this is the end of my piece. This is what my piece will look like. Okay, we have the heart formed, the sides, the end closed off here. Okay, that's our piece at the end of this round. Now for round 20. For round 20, we're going to start off with a chain 3, and this counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to chain do 3 double crochet in the next chain 3 space. So here's our chain 3 space, 3 double crochet into there. So 1, 2, and 3, like that. Then you will double crochet in the next 3 double crochet cluster. So here's our middle cluster here. We're going to do one double crochet into there at the top, like so. And then three double crochet into the next chain three space, followed by one double crochet on top of this final cluster. So in this space here, we're going to do three double crochet, two and three. And then here's our last cluster, one double crochet on top of there, like that. Single crochet into the next chain three space. So here's our chain three space. Single crochet into there. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three, 
single crochet into the next chain three space here. Double crochet into the next double crochet here. Three double crochet into the next double crochet. Double crochet into the next double crochet. So out of the three double crochet here, the first one you're going to do one double crochet. The second one you're going to do three double crochet into there one, two, and three, like so. And then the final one you're going to do one double crochet into there, like that. Single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Here's our chain three space, here's our chain three space. The first one, you're going to single crochet into there, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, double crochet into the next three double crochet cluster, and then three double crochet into the next chain three space and repeat. So with this part, we're going to do the same that we did here, double crochet into the first cluster, three double crochet into the next chain three space one two three one double crochet into the next cluster three double crochet into the next chain three space one two three and then one double crochet into the next cluster like that Chain three, one, two, three, and we are here. Three front post double crochet decrease around the ne next three front post stitches. So you have three stitches here, you have your decrease, you have your decrease, and you have your decrease. So the three decreases that we did in the previous round, we're gonna do a decrease around all those three. So yarn over around the first decrease, front post double crochet, so go around the posts, pull through and over pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook around the second decrease, around the post, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook around the third decrease, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four loops, like that. Chain three, one, two, three, and that's gonna start our repeat where we'll begin with this part here, which is our double crochet on top of this one, three double crochet on top of the next, into the chain three space, one double crochet, etc. Okay, so this is what we created. Let me show you, we created this. So you have this part here, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. This part here, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. This part here, chain three, this part here, chain three, and you're back here. All right, so that's gonna be the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of this round. I've done my last chain three to connect. We're just gonna do a slip stitch into the beginning third chain of chain three. One, two, three, counting from the bottom. A slip stitch to connect, and I will show you what the piece looks like. Now, so this is our piece at the end of this round. Okay. Now for round 21. Here we are for round 21. To begin, we are going to chain one and we're going to do a back post double crochet around the same uh, chain three from the previous round. So here we have our chain three. Back post double crochet is when you turn your work over and go around the back post like that and do a double crochet. Okay, so yarn over, turn your work around, go behind that post, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you're going to chain one and do the same thing all the way to the end, to the last post here. Into the next uh, post, yarn over, go from the back around the post, Pull it through, 
and over pull through two, and over pull through two, chain one, like that. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way to the end here. Here we are, we've done our last back post double crochet. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine back post double crochets with chain, un chain one in between. So after our last back post double crochet, we single crochet into the next chain three space. So we don't chain one. We just go straight into here, the chain three space, single crochet. After you single crochet, you are here where if you are one, two, three, four, five double crochets here, the first two, you're going to do one double crochet followed by chain one. The third one in the middle, you're going to do three double crochet followed by chain one in between. The fourth one, you're going to do double crochet, chain one, and the fifth one, you're going to do a double crochet. Okay, so the first one, you're going to do double crochet followed by chain one. The second one, you're going to do one double crochet followed by chain one. The third one, you're going to do three double crochet with chain one in between, so that's one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, chain one, like that. The fourth one you're going to do one double crochet, chain one, and the last one you're going to do one double crochet. So your piece looks like that. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets with chain one in between. Then you're just going to do a single chain to this next chain three space here. And you are here. Go ahead and do a back post double crochet around the next double crochet. Chain one, back post double crochet around the next double crochet eight times. So you're going to do the same thing that you did here, right over here. All right, so after you single crochet, start directly your back post double crochet around the first post here, followed by chain one. Okay, so here we are, you have nine back post double crochets, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with chain one in between. After you do your last back post double crochet, do not chain one, instead you're just going to skip, you are here, you're going to skip these next two chain three spaces and you're going to start here once again. With your first back post double crochet, chain one, around each of those posts. chain one, right? So like that. Okay, and then you're just going to repeat. So this is what we created, and you're just going to repeat that again. So around each of these parts here, you're just going to do back post double crochet around each of the posts, followed by chain one in between. When you're done your last back post double crochet, you will single crochet into the next chain three space. Then you are here. You will do, you have five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. In the first one, you're going to do a double crochet, chain one. Second one, double crochet, chain one. Third one, you're going to do three double crochet with chain one in between. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. The fourth one, you're going to do double crochet, chain one. And the fifth one, final double crochet. Then you're here, single crochet into the next chain three space. Then you're here once again, where you will do double back post double crochet around each of the posts, followed by chain one in between. Once you're done your last double crochet, which you're going to have nine uh, back post double crochets, like here, nine of them, the chain one in between. Once you're done that, after your last back post double crochet, you're going to skip all of this and start your next back post double crochet directly into here. Okay. Once again, no chain one after your last back post double crochet.
Okay, and then that's just going to create this. And that's going to be the pattern all the way around. So I'm going to meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of this round. I've done my last double back post double crochet. To connect, I'm just going to slip stitch into the first back post double crochet that we just did. So here's our first back post double crochet. Go to the top here and just slip stitch to connect. Like that. And that connects our piece. And this is our piece at the end of this round. Okay, now for round 22. Here we are for round 22. For round 22, we're going to start off by slip stitching into the next chain one space. So here we have our first back post double crochet that we did our slip stitch from the previous round into to connect. We're going to skip that into the next chain one space here. We're going to slip stitch. Then we're going to slip stitch into the next back post double crochet here, which is the second one. Like that. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine back post double crochet here. The first one we skip, the second one we're on top of now. We are going to chain one and do a two front post double crochet cluster around the same post. So chain one. For a two front post double crochet cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post, like a front post double crochet, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the same post, pull loop through, Yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay? And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to do that for the next all, uh, back post double crochets all the way to the end. So the next seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to the end here. We're going to do back post double crochet cluster followed by chain one. So here we are at the end of that. I've done my last front post double crochet cluster. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight front post double crochet clusters here. We are on top of this part now. After your last cluster, you are not going to chain one. Instead, we're just going to skip the next single crochet and the next double crochet and single crochet into the next chain one space. So we're going to skip the next single crochet, which is this one. Skip the next double crochet, which is this one. So you have seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Skip the first one. Into the chain one space, you're going to single crochet. Like that. Then you're going to single crochet in the next double crochet and in the next chain one space twice. So single crochet into the next double crochet and chain one space. Double crochet and chain one space. And that'll leave you to the center double crochet here. So double crochet, single Chain one space, double crochet, chain one space, allows you leaves you to the center here. In the center, you will do a chain a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the same double crochet, all into that same double crochet, the fourth one of the seven. Now you will single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next double crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space twice. So essentially we're doing this here, this here. So single crochet in the next chain one space, okay? Then single crochet in the next double crochet, chain one space, double crochet, chain one space, single crochet, chain one space, double crochet, chain one space. You're not going to do a single crochet into this last double crochet. So we have one double crochet remaining. You're going to skip that. 
and then you are going to skip the next single crochet, which is the one here, and then you will skip, and then you will do two front post double crochet cluster around the next back post double crochet. So here's our first back post double crochet. You're going to do a front post double crochet cluster around there. So yarn over, skip, skip, and into our first back post double crochet. Yarn over, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's our front post double crochet cluster. And you're going to now chain one and do two front post double crochet cluster around the next back post double crochet seven times. So chain one and do a back post double crochet cluster, chain one seven times. So we have how many remaining? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven back post double crochets here, a back post here, and a back post there. So the, this one, you are not going to do anything on. You're going to leave that last one there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, where you're going to do a back post double crochet around those, followed by a chain one. Okay, so I did my chain one already. Now I'm going to do a front post double crochet cluster around that next one. So this is one, chain one. Two, chain one. Three, chain one. Four, chain one. You're not going to chain one after this last one here. You're going to skip the next chain one space and single crochet in between the next two back post double crochet. Okay, so here's our next two back post double crochet. One, two, on top of this peak here. Into here, you're just going to do a single crochet. Like that. Now you're going to skip the next back post double crochet, which is this one here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine back post double crochets. The first one you're going to skip. And in the next one, you're going to do a front post double crochet cluster. And that's going to be the pattern. We're just going to repeat that all the way around, followed by chain one. Okay? So this is what we made so far. This. So it almost looks like a crown. Okay? So just to repeat, this is what we did. After you do this part here, where you do single crochet in between here, and in between the two double crochets, back post double crochets, you skip the first back post double crochet of the nine. Into the second one, you do back post double crochet, followed by chain one, and you repeat that seven more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like how we did here. Okay. Just like how we did here, seven. Then you skip the next single crochet and the next double crochet and single crochet into the next chain one space. So skip the next single crochet. Here's the next double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Into the first, you skip that. Then you single crochet into the next chain one and into the next double crochet, into the next chain one, into the next double crochet, into the next chain one, and then you are here in the center, in the center you're going to do single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all into the stitch, then you're here again, then you'll single crochet into the next chain one, single crochet into the next double crochet, single crochet in the next chain one, single crochet in the next double crochet, followed by single crochet in the next chain one, so you have one double crochet left over, you're going to skip that, you're going to skip the next single crochet, and you are here, in the first back post double crochet, you will do your two front post double crochet cluster. And then you will chain one, and you will do a two front post double crochet cluster, chain one, in the next seven back post double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will leave you to the end here, where you have one back post double crochet remaining, and then the next back post double crochet here, in the next part. And in between these two, you'll do a single crochet. Then you are here again to repeat. You will skip the first back post double crochet and into the second you will do a, a front post double crochet cluster, chain one, and then you will do that seven more times. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and repeat. So that's the pattern all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this round. So to make it a little bit clearer, as long as you have eight front post double crochet clusters, followed by chain one on here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with chain one in between, and on this side as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with chain one in between, you're good. And on top of here, you have five single crochet, one, two, three, four, five. And on the top here, you have single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then you have five going down, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet. So as long as you have that in each segment, you know you're doing it correctly, okay? Here we are at the end of this round. I've done my last single crochet to connect. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of this first cluster. Like that. And this is our piece at the end of this round. This is what it looks like. Now for the last round, round 23. To begin round 23, we're going to slip, slip stitch into the next chain one space right here. Like that, and we have a chain one and single crochet into the same space. Chain one, single crochet into the same space. And now we will do a pico, single crochet in the next chain one space six times. So a pico is chain three. One, two, three. Slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, so counting from the top. One, two, three. The third chain from the hook, also known as the first chain that we made, we will just slip stitch into there to complete a pico like that. And now we will single crochet into the next chain one space. And we will repeat five more times for so a total of six times. So one, two, three, slip stitch. Single crochet, one, two, three, slip stitch, single crochet, one, two, three, slip stitch, single crochet, one, two, three, slip stitch, single crochet, and one, two, three, slip stitch. And single crochet. Like that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six picos. Now you will single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next three single crochet. So you have one double crochet front post cluster remaining. Skip that. And into the single crochet, one, two, three, you will do a single crochet into the back loops of each of them. So if you go into the single crochet here, you have two loops. The front is the one facing you, the back one is the one behind. Into the back loop, you will do a single crochet. One, two, three, like that, into those three. And now you do a pico. One, two, three. Slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. And you will do a single crochet in the back loop of each of the next two single crochets. So you have one, two single crochet before you get to the center here. So into each of the next two, you'll do one single crochet into the back loop. One, two, like that. Now you're at your center. You will do a pico. One, two, three. Pico, single chain to the back loop of the next single crochet, and that leads you to your chain two. You have two chains for the chain two that we did. In the first chain, you will do a single crochet. So the first chain, you will do a single crochet. Then you will do a large pico, which is chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Sing, slip stitch into the fifth chain from the hook, so counting from the top, one, two, three, four, five, the, also known as the first chain that we did. Slip stitch, it's a large pico, and then you will single crochet in the back loop of the second chain. So the second chain is here. I know it's tough to see, but of those two chains, the second chain, you'll single crochet. 
And now you will single crochet in the back loop of the next single crochet. So that single crochet is the single crochet chain two single crochet. So that single crochet we just did in was that second single crochet in this um, fourth double crochet of the seven. Now you have one, two, three, four, five single crochet left over. You will do a pico and single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. So after now you will do a pico, one, two, three. Single crochet into the next two single crochet, one, two, again into the back loops. Now you do a pico, one, two, three. And you have three single crochet left over. You will do one single crochet into each of those back loops. One, two, and three, like that. So that's what we created here. We did three single crochet, pico, two single crochet, pico, one single crochet, then another single crochet, large pico, another single crochet, then we did one single crochet, pico, two single crochet, pico, three single crochet. That's what we did. Now you're on this part here, which is the same as this part here. We will start off by single crocheting into the next chain one space. So here's our next chain one space, which is in between the first and the second cluster. Single crochet like that. Then you will do a pico and single crochet in the next chain one space six times. So a pico and single crochet in the next chain one space six times. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, and that'll use up all your chain one spaces. Two, three, Last chain one space here, six. Like this. So we're here on top of this part now. We will chain one, slip stitch into the next single crochet, chain one. So chain one, slip stitch into the next single crochet on top of here. Chain one. And then we are here where we will repeat what we did here. We will start off with a single crochet in the next chain one space which is between the first and the second cluster, followed by pico, single chain in the next chain one space, total of six times, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and that'll use up all your chain one spaces here. Okay, so this is what we created, and that's gonna be the pattern all the way around. So you will have one, two, three, four, five, six picos in each of the chain one spaces, When you get to this crown here, in the back loops only of each of the single crochets, you will work three single crochet, pico, two single crochet, pico, two single crochet, large pico, two single crochet, pico, two single crochet, pico, three single crochet. And then you are here, where you will do again your picos in each of the chain one spaces. And then you are here where you will do chain one, slip stitch into this single crochet, chain one, and then you are here, you will start off with your picos in each of the chain one spaces. And that's the pattern all the way around. Okay, so do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of this row. I've done my last chain one and here I am at the beginning single crochet that we did. We're just gonna slip stitch to the beginning single crochet of the round, here it is. In this chain one space, this beginning single crochet. going to slip stitch to connect and that's going to finish our last round. Now we're going to cut it, fasten it off, weave it in and we're done and this is what our piece will look like at the end. 
and this is up close. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is block it, and I will show you that. To block it, all I'm going to do is take the doily, pin it onto a piece of cardboard, use some safety pins, and just steam it. So take my iron and I'll have steam. And I'm going to keep steaming it like that, and what that's going to do is relax all the fibers and get it nice and flat. Okay, so I'm going to do that, let it dry. Because I'm using white, I'm going to remember to remove the pins within a couple of hours and not leave it in its place overnight just because the pins could rust with the moisture and the rust could stain the white. Here we are after blocking it. This is what our piece will look like. As you can see, it flattened out and it's ready to go. This is up close and this is behind. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos on my channel. I have more doilies, amigurumi, also some knitting patterns. You can check that out. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.